Hi, I'm Peter Cowan, the Bee Whisperer. I am here at my Good Shepherd Food Bank today. It is Monday, the 10th of April, and these colonies have been building up for the last uh, month or so with uh, some winter patties and particularly with some pollen patties. And now we are ready to expand them. These were overwintered primarily as single deeps. Uh, I've done a couple of manipulations since, but uh, we'll come to that later. So I've got quite a few single deeps here and uh, they are bursting at the seams, ready for some more room. So the truck is full of deep supers prepared for more room. Uh, and uh, as as the uh, my friend Ian Stepler sets up his expansion supers. I've got frames of foundation on the outside, frame of honey here, honey and resources, uh, drawn comb, drawn comb, drawn comb, and drawn comb, more honey here, and two more foundation. And so with this way, the bees will expand up through the middle of the brood chamber and into these second supers. So in about three weeks, I'll be ready to split these hives and make many, many nukes out of them. So time to get ready. Now, get my smoker going. And yes, look at me, bright brand new bee suit. Brand new bee suit, uh, I've actually, been uh, bringing these uh, suits in and even had my logo put on them and even a brand new pair of gloves today as we're starting really officially starting the proper bee work here today the uh, I love these suits we've been Amy and I have been trying out uh, multiple uh, suits last season and this is really uh, was top of the heat by a mile these triple layer suits feel so much cooler in the heat and um, need quality zips, lots of pockets, knee pads, that sort of thing. So this is uh, uh, what I've decided to put my name on anyway. So uh, I am delighted and I get to wear a shiny new suit today. And of course, it will be filthy in no time at all. And of course, guess where my hive tool is? Unless I can find them at the bottom of this bag of smoker material. Oh no, I've got, yes, my hive tool is down under that orange super. However, I just remembered I put one in my, the door of my truck for just this reason yesterday. So we're going to uh, get our smoker going. Start off my smoker with a tiny amount of fuel to start with. Get that flaming right up. And a tiny bit more. I will use typically pine needles to get my smoker going, including the twigs and that sort of thing that come with the pine needles. that really burning put a tiny bit more fuel in so I know most of you know how to run your smoker but for those of you who are just learning the trick to getting a smoker lit properly and keep on burning and burning is to put a tiny amount of fuel in to start with get it really burning and then add tiny bits more until you've loaded up your smoker and keep on getting it burning I mean literally a flame popping out of the top. Start adding a few little bits and twigs and stuff. And 
then what I like to really keep it going for a while is wood pellets. So I use plain old wood pellets for my pellet stove in the living room. I'll fill up a can with wood pellets. This will keep this smoker going for one or two hours, sometimes considerably longer than that if I really spend time loading it up, but I don't expect to be here that long. So one hour is gonna be plenty. I hope it's gonna be plenty. New pair of gloves, yay. So soft, I mean, nice new pair of gloves, lovely. Now, I haven't decided yet whether I'm taking my, yeah, I probably will be taking my uh, Be Cozies off. Now, a lot of folks ask me, when do I take my insulation off the hive? And I only take the insulation off the hive when it starts to get in the way of doing other jobs, because there's no hurry to take the insulation off your hive, um, because all you're doing is making it harder for the bees to keep it warm. So I will, uh, take the insulation off the hive when it's in the way. And today it's gonna to be in the way. I don't know, today it might not be in the way. I might just leave it on the bottom because I'm only putting a super on the top. Had the weather been cold and up until today, I was facing a dilemma because in these hives, the heat is all tucked up at the top of the chamber. And if we have a, cold weather when we add another box on top here if we add another box on top here then the heat will go up into that em other bo empty box and make it much harder for the bees to keep that colony warm so you could if it's cold and the bees need room put the super underneath the hive so lift up the upper chamber lift up this chamber full of bees put the new super underneath but they will then expand into it quite slowly. And it's a lot of extra work, a lot of extra lifting. And if I can get away without that, so much the better. But now we've got some really nice warm weather. I should be able to add the brood chamber, expand the brood chamber from the top. So over super into the hive. Which... Okay, ready to go. Bit of smoke. This cluster was fair size last time I was here. I'll keep the insulation on again as long as it's not in the way. Clusters moving, not grouping on the top so much anymore now, so that's good. Be able to go home taking the feeding rim off scraps of paper a little bit of food still left pollen patty's been eaten right up i'm going to open feed a bit of pollen here we've got some beautiful weather coming this week it's going to be in the 60s and 70s this week that's nudging 20 getting into the 20s centigrade here so that's going to be beautiful now this cluster isn't particularly big and there's still plenty of honey here but the weather is going to be so good that i've got no hesitation in terms of adding this second super on so let's see dig down into our first brood chamber for the year. There you see. If they've still got lots of honey, which they do here. This is a, a single brood chamber. All winter long it's had still got honey here honey here that's basically no room to expand just everywhere that they have not expanded into is already full of honey
pollen flow is just about to get going. Just starting to see some, I've got some brood here. I've had one, a lot of broods just come through, it's just emerged. And there's lots of young larvae here. So this is full of young larvae. Got some eggs on that side. Emerging. The population's just kicking into gear here. Here's the first queen of the year. Looking for more space to lay eggs, or even starting a few drones. So coming along nicely. See another frame of brood there. So I've got about, this has about three frames of brood, maybe four. a lot easier for them to expand upwards into this uh, normally my rule is not to uh, put a another brood chamber on unless it's absolutely stuffed with bees but the weather forecast is so good that I'm not gonna worry about them being too cold because it's gonna be in the 40s at night they're not gonna have big enough rent up top, so these bees are going to be fine. I'll leave the insulation down there. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to be setting up feeders in the hives as well, so we're going to be making a bit of room. colony here was already a double brood chamber. It was a relatively small cluster from what I recall. Um, this colony went into the winter. I consolidated two colonies last year. So it actually has two, two deeps. So we're going to just see. I don't think the cluster will be big enough for me to reverse the brood chambers here, but they can always go downwards without any problem. Just want to make sure everything looks fine here. Yeah, it's a tiny cluster. Like this colony would be better off if I took the bottom super off it. Um, I've only got a tiny cluster here. Well, they're doing okay. And what I may actually do with this one is put it on top, consolidate it on top of another hive. But my priority right now is to get the supers on all the others if I can do. So I'm going to do that first and we'll see where we stand at the end of the day. I'll bear in mind that this could be would benefit from boosting on top of another hive. I think I bring a thing excluded. I think I've got one in the truck. I do have one on another hive, so I did boost another hive earlier this month. A little bit of cleaning up to do, plenty of bees in here. to clean up this stuff so I can put the other super on top. Show you what happens when you don't smoke them ahead of time. The other ones are fine, but I still these ones up having not smoked them. 
Now, some of these, they've even built a bit of comb here. Some of these may be a bit short of food, but I can see there's honey in here. See honey in here, honey in here, honey in there. So they're not going to be particularly short of food. And, uh, take some of this paper out of there, save them having to do it. That's what happens when you're doing, it's been months since you've opened up a, a beehive and uh, part of it. And the sugar there, I'm not worried about that, the bees are going to clean this right up. Coming weather forecast is superb. 60s, 70s each day. Great forecast for expanding the colonies. We should see a lot of progress over the next coming weeks. Although these hives don't feel heavy, there is still plenty of honey in here. I'm seeing three frames of honey or more. I really, I didn't look at them closely when I put these uh, candy boards on. I really should have done because really they didn't need it at all. They just threw money away. So, but I'm taking these off because they're certainly not necessary. Pollen coming out. Thank 
in the trees is how much pollen is around the trees are starting to flower and once the trees start producing pollen the bees are gonna go nuts and that is gonna happen this week in earnest We've got the red maples I can't remember, I can't remember what that sort of tree these are um, they're coming out with pollen earlier still and we are surrounded by trees that are going to produce a fair amount of pollen I've seen pussy willows out I've seen uh, some of the crow's foot flowers around but uh, bees are going to be busy so I don't have any pollen patties with me. It probably wouldn't have hurt to put a pollen patty in right now. But what I have set up, just put out a pollen substitute feeder. So I've got a few pounds of pollen substitute there for this yard, and they will find that in no time at all. I bet by the time we leave, there'll be dozens of bees in there. Just put it out a couple of minutes ago.
What happens if you leave it too long, they start expanding into the empty space. Just gonna combine these bees together, put them to work in the new house.
Okay, so now what I've done is I've added another super onto all those ponies that were ready to expand. And I've cleared out one more dying or dead out hive, which basically looks like the queen didn't make it through the winter. And she ended up, or her progeny ended up on top as one of the expansion supers. So now I've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in good shape. So I did lose this hive, now this one, and those two over the winter. So I had, a, uh, I had about a 80% survivorship in this yard, which is fair, not brilliant not bad the colonies look in great shape they're expanding with this good weather coming along they will expand even faster and uh, they're now shaping up nicely so what i want to do also to stimulate them a little bit is just put a little bit of sugar syrup on them so i'm going to try and give an entrance feeder to all of these hives despite the fact that i've got a bee cozy on and uh, we'll see how that works if it doesn't work i'll open feed them on the open feeder there but uh, we should have bees open feeding on the uh, pollen substitute pretty quickly but that will only be for a few days because the pollen substitute these won't touch this stuff once we get the natural pollen flowing and it looks like it's going to be flowing any day now uh, in significant quantities. So right now, let's just see if we can get our feeders on. Let's see how that goes.
Okay, we stirred them up a bit. That's fairly typical of my Italian yachts compared to the Saskatchewan, the Italians are more easily riled. So the, uh, they've all been fed. We've got a feeder. They've got more room. They have pollen substitute. They've got a pollen flow. So they probably won't use the pollen substitute. So they are good to go. Three weeks time. Hopefully we'll be splitting these hives. Maybe a bit longer. We'll see. So the colonies are doing very well. I'm Peter Cowan with Bee Whisperer. Having mucked up my brand new bee suit. That's the way it goes. Sign of things to come. I'm Peter Cowan with the Bee Whisperer. See you next time.